फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट एट द आउटसेट आई शुड लाइक टू स्टेट दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द सीक्रेट ऑफ द रेलवे बोर्ड एंड द पॉलिसी विच दे आर फॉलोइंग वेन आई से सीक्रेट आई मीन दैट दे हैव गॉड सर्टन पॉलिसीज एंड मैथड्स विच आर नॉट इजली अंडरस्टैंडेबल बाय पीपल लाइक अस देयर इज नो प्रॉपर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थ्रू विच द ऑर्डिनरी रेलवे लेबर्स एंड देयर एसोसिएशंस कुड रिप्रेजेंट देयर ग्रीवियंसेस द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर वॉज प्लीज to say the other day that there is the railway men's federation but i must tell him that the practical difficulty of all the union in the railways is that they are not able to push their case through the railway men's federation another thing i would like to point out is that when representation are made to the honorable railway minister or the railway board in many cases we get a suitable reply and as far as i have seen we do get a suitable reply but that is all i would request the honorable minister to see that their cases are properly considered and something is done for them the other day i represented to the honorable minister and other the railway board the case of the sanitary inspectors they are classified as supervisory staff prior to 3rd may 2008 they were given upper class passes like other officers but since that day all of a sudden the upper class passes have been stopped for these people we do not understand why this discrimination should have been made against these sanitary inspectors i would request the honorable minister to see that proper consideration is shown to them and to remove inconsistencies in this regard even though repeated presentation have been made to the railway board and the honorable minister the case of the running staff has never been properly considered at all in the case of b grade firemen all of a sudden literacy qualification was introduced and people who have passed the sslc examination have been taken directly as firemen but what about the case of those who entered service before this literacy question was introduced some of them have put in more than 10 years of service they were recruited by a staff selection board after proper examination they were 
never required to pass the SSLC examination when they entered service. But suddenly this literacy qualification has been introduced and their chances of promotion have been reduced. The number of persons affected is very small and I would therefore request the Honorable Minister to look into their case favorably. Another point is about telegraph inspectors. They are the people who look after the maintenance of telegraph lines. They have been recruited in the normal manner and they are the people who have put in service of more than 10 or 15 years. The question of wireless inspectors came in at the time of war. They are now classified along with telegraph inspectors. Whenever certain appointments or grades are introduced in the case of telegraph inspector is overlooked. The wireless inspector who are called communication inspectors at present came into the picture only at the time of war. Now, what happens is that the telegraph inspector who have put in service of more than 10 or 15 years and who look after the work which was used to be done by the wireless inspector are neglected and overlooked. I hope their cases will receive the deepest consideration of government and a proper solution will be found. I know came to the grievances of Travelling ticket examiners. Representation were made by them that they should be classified as running staff. They are not sitting staff. They have been representing that they should be classified as running staff along with drivers and firemen. Their cases have also been overlooked. It is a small case and the railway board can easily understand it if only they have a maid to look into the matter. There are ever so many things but I do not want to mention them all. I do not understand the secret of the delay. According to the railway board, delay mean 10 years. That is the minimum. I am not ex-aggregating. I shall give you an example. An estimate for constructing an overbridge was sanctioned 10 years ago. Nobody can came there. I requested the Honorable Deputy Minister to visit that place. He was pleased to visit it. I must thank the Honorable Deputy Minister on behalf of my constituencies. What happened is that we cannot be taking the Honorable Railway Minister or the Honorable Deputy Minister to each and every place where a work has to be executed. This is another point which I want the 
रेलवे मिनिस्ट्री एज वेल एज द रेलवे बोर्ड टू बियर इन माइंड पीपल आर नाउ अ डे अफ्रेड ऑफ ट्रेवलिंग इन एरोप्लेन बट आई थिंक दैट अ रेफरेंस टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ पेपर्स सप्लाइड टू अस विल शो दैट एक्सीडेंट टू ट्रेन्स आर इंक्रीजिंग डे बाई डे फुल स्टॉप